Okay, for our last um, practice of this uh, statistical um, distribution description stuff, we're going to go to NZ Grapher. We haven't done any actual graphing of our own, so we're going to just um, have a look at some data, create some um, box plots and dot plots, and then we're going to do a full blown um, write up of the description of the dis distribution that we see. So we're going to take Kiwi data. So we've got a population of kiwi here, and we're going to take uh, a sample, and we're going to take a sample, a random sample. So this is a simple random sample. We talked about sampling before, so the computer is going to create a random sample for us. We want this to be size 200. It's a reasonably good sample. It's not huge, but it's, it's not bad. 200. We're going to um, do a dot plot, so we select under graph type dot plot. Now, this first variable has to be your number variable, so your qual quantitative variable. So you could use height or weight here, so we're going to use weight, and we're going to break it up into two groups, and we're going to do that by gender. You could do it by species, but we're going to do it by gender. If we did it by species, I think there are three species, so that's why we're going to do it by gender. So. We've got our, our dot plots now. If you want to get fancy and do this by color, we could do by color, by gender, and do it that way. <clears throat> so under over here, underneath, we're going to want to get our summary. That gives us our means and medians, our interquartile ranges, or our upper and lower quartiles, min and max, and our size. And you can see that the size is 111 uh, females and 89 males. A few less males, but not significant. We're not going to worry about that at this point. Um, we can do box plots. Now you can do the box plots right on top of the dot plot, or you can do them high. It just depends on w what you want to do, but s sometimes if you've got to describe the, um, the dot plots themselves, it might be better to have the box plot a little bit higher. And that's pretty much it. We just need to come up with some sort of title for the graph, which is a Kiwi weight by gender. And you just have to up great to the graph to get that. It's got um, weight by kgs and gender, so that's all good. And then we're just going to throw that. We're going to take a screenshot of that, and we're going to throw it into our OneNote um, with our summaries. So we'll get something like this. Um, and remember, everybody's sample is going to be a little bit different because um, everybody's done a random sample. So um, And remember, if I do a sample, and you do a sample of 200, and I do a sample of 200, and Mary does a sample of 200, and Becky does a sample of 200. Our samples are going to be different. So um, it'll be interesting to see how different they are. Um, but you know, if I if I asked it to do another sample of 200, I don't know if this would update the graph. Yeah, it is. It's updated. So we still get 111 and 89, but does this look different from the one? Yeah, it does. Absolutely. Look at the difference. So this one, um, the uh, male is quite a bit shorter interquartile range. And I think if I look at the medians, 2.8, 2.2. Median was 2.2, pretty close, 2.9, a little bit difference, but there's definitely a change in, in the interquartile range. So you can see that every time everybody does a sample, we're going to get a little bit different sample. And actually, the more people that do this, um, and I might just grab your um, box plots, and we can just take a look at how different everybody's sample is. So everybody's going to have a unique write-up, and that's going to happen as well for the internal. Um, so we can't um, really use somebody else's work because everybody needs to have their own sample. Now what you're going to do once you've got this is you're going to do a full write-up of the sample of 200 for distribution statistics. So you're going to do all the things that um, we've been doing. You're going to talk about the question. You could do a little bit of an introduction about your what you're going to do. But basically, I need a problem, so your comparative question. Um, the plan, if you notice anything about the sample, but really, I mean, the plan is not really necessary. Get the data, get the data. Do your shifts and centers and overlaps, your medians and spreads and shape and all that stuff and anything unusual in the data, and then you make a conclusion. And you talk about sample variability, right? So um, yeah, 
that's your activity for uh, Wednesday and that is um, our last practice of this and we won't be doing another practice of this particular stuff until we actually get into to doing the actual internal so do the best you can on this and I will feed back to you on what you have written.